I was a student on the um, transcultural mental health care course in um, 2007 and um, in the last couple of years I've been tutoring on the MSc in psychological therapies. I actually chose the um, course uh, in transcultural mental health care because primarily because I wanted to get into clinical psychology and I thought that would be a good stepping stone really to uh, sort of get that going but um, also partly because I was very interested in research and also cultural issues really so it really combined all the different interests I had um, and I had actually read about it a couple of years before I even applied and I was quite interested in um, in going for the course but then sort of delayed it but I was really glad when I actually got on the course um, after I had some email contact uh, with Cam the course director uh, about it that I had definitely made the right decision in general I think it was a really good move sort of um, getting a good grounding in all the different um, aspects of mental health care and really understanding how culture um, culture and ethnicity really impact the um, therapy process um, and other mental health settings as well as psychological therapies. Um, and so, so I found that really, um, really interesting for, for myself really, but also um, for the career that I'm now doing really. I did the course distance learning and I, I found that I, I felt very well supported actually doing the distance learning aspects of the course. Um, we had very good uh, tutor groups where we were able to discuss with um, students from all over the world um, on the different aspects. Um, and we had a great tutor who, who was always at hand if there was something that wasn't quite going right. That was perfect, sort of being able to listen to the lectures whenever um, I wanted to. And, and I found the lectures to be of really good quality um, and, and, uh, and really interesting highlights of the course it was really mainly that it there was such an emphasis on on being critical and developing your critical thinking skills and um, really focusing on on the different aspects in um, in culture and ethnicity and how that impacts mental health care in different countries as well as here in the UK um, so for me that combination was really good um, and I, I feel that I gained a lot from the sort of process of becoming more critical about research that we were doing um, on the course as well as reading other people's research and thinking about um, whether it's of good quality and what it actually means, what it's actually saying. I feel that the course really helped me to, um, to get onto clinical psychology. Um, because I, I was really able to sort of get that understanding of the cultural issues and bring that in when I was writing my application form um, and, and really consider that and how that would be relevant, especially applying for courses in London where the patient populations are actually very diverse. Um, and uh, as well as sort of being quite critical in, at the interview stage about the different questions that were being asked, a lot of them actually um, being on diversity issues, so I felt very well equipped to, to deal with that at the time. Um, and, and, and so yeah, I think that the course definitely um, helped me to get closer to, uh, to uh, actually getting on the course as it's so competitive really. Um, and actually now being on the course, I, for me, the grounding I got from, uh, from what I learned has been really helpful, um, partly because there's now a big emphasis on cultural issues in clinical psychology. So we do get lectures um, on cultural issues. Um, and, and of course, I already have an understanding in that. So it's kind of helping me to maybe develop those skills a little bit further. Um, but I suppose not only that, I think the major aspect in where it, it has really helped me is my clinical work um, with clients. Uh, where I can really draw on all the different skills that I've developed as part of the course. And I, I think that I'm able to think more widely around um, the client's needs and um, their sort of 
their backgrounds really more generally um, because I, I feel that the course teaches you to be quite sort of thinking outside the box really and I think that's um, something that it's really helped me with sort of to do that with my clients and to really consider all the, the differences um, or different aspects of, of their backgrounds and where they've come from and how they've come to be where they are at the moment. So in that respect, it's, um, it continues to be um, very useful. This course is, is really very interesting because I probably would have wanted to choose it myself when, if it had been an option at the time um, because it combines those two aspects really well of having that cultural perspective but then also really learning about the psychological therapies um, which I, I suppose especially people who want to get into clinical psychology or counselling psychology or any of those things uh, would be really looking for. Um, and it gives you a, a kind of different perspective to many of the master's courses that you could do that just cover psychological therapies. And I found that students who are doing the course are very enthusiastic about that combination of the things. And you can really notice in, in class, um, uh, in, in terms of looking at the uh, therapy side of things, they always come up with aspects of uh, cultural aspects um, and, and how that might be impacting the therapy process. And I think that can only be a good thing for you know, future therapists coming out um, uh, and, and delivering good therapy that's culturally sensitive or culturally appropriate, really.